Have you ever heard of a small island in the Pacific Ocean called New Caledonia? Well, guess what? They even have their own national airline. I took a 7,000 km trip on their brand new Airbus A330 NEO from Tokyo all the way down to Numea to show you what it's really like. From fancy seats to unique food, today is going to be another great aviation adventure. However, when I went online to see what others have to say about them, I was shocked to see endless bad reviews, calling it the worst airline ever, a complete shit show, or useless. Even my friend Noel Phillips took a trip on Air Kalin and called it an absolute nightmare. So why does everyone hate them? And am I in for a bad surprise as well? Let's see and find out why everyone hates them so much. The day before, I took a flight from Ulaanbaatar to Tokyo on Air Mongolia's Boeing 767-300, which was another fun trip and an airline I highly recommend, so make sure you check out that video as well. After a night in Tokyo, it was then time for me to head to the airport again to try Air Kalin. So guys, and here we are, beautiful good morning from Tokyo Narita, flying to New Caledonia on Air Kalin. So let's do this, let's check in. At the moment, Air Kalin is operating three weekly flights from Narita to Numia on the Airbus A330neo, which touched down the second I made my way to the check-in counter as well. So guys, on my way to the check-in counter, I came across Zip Air, and it's a very interesting story. This is the budget airline of ANA, but they used to have a big Z on their tail. But these days, the Z also stands for the illegal Russian invasion of Ukraine. And in order to not be associated with it and to send a strong sign of support for Ukraine and peace, they decided to remove it from all their aircrafts. Narita is currently Japan's busiest airport, with roughly 35 million passengers a year, but also one of the most controversial airports in the country, with an ongoing struggle between residents of Narita and the government. Personally, I'm not a big fan of Narita myself, and I find it confusing and weirdly odd. But that's my take. What is yours? How are you? There's a lounge in front of the gate 16. Uh -huh. Please use this one. Oh, there's a lounge, yeah. yeah. Which is it the which lounge is it? Yes, in front of the gate 16. Uh -huh. Just show you boarding pass, it's okay. Uh -huh. what, what what's the name of the lounge? Is it A, &A uh -huh. lounge? Or? Not the Plenia Lounge. Alright, okay, cool. And it's right at the gate 16, yeah? Oh, that's easy. Beautiful. Mm. All good then, no? Yeah. Thank you very much. Bye. So, all checked in for the Akalin business class experience. Let's head to the gate. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Our plane today is the Airbus A330 900 Neo, which was delivered to the airline just before the pandemic. Air Kalin operates two of them, mostly on flights to Japan, Singapore, and Sydney. Hi. How are you? And here we are, welcome on board the Airbus with 26 seats in business class in a 1 to 1 configuration. My first impression? Not too bad. So guys, and here we are, welcome on board to Air Kalin's Airbus A330-900 Neo. I uh, gotta be honest, got a very reserved welcome at the door. And uh, perhaps they just need a little bit of time to warm up. Um, I need to break the ice, but we'll see how this is gonna go uh, throughout the flight. Uh, first impression, cabin looks pretty nice. Seat looks lovely, clean and neat. And I have 5H, so it's a staggered configuration. So some seats are closer to the aisle than the others. Uh, mine here is a bit more private, so it's closer to the window. It's a true window seat, an actual window seat, which I highly recommend to you when traveling Air Kalin. Um, but let me also give you a quick little seat tour. At my seat, I found a pair of noise cancelling headphones, an amenity kit, as well as a bottle of water. You have seat controls to put your seat into a flatbed position, as well as a universal power outlet combined with a USB slot. The in-flight entertainment was okay with just 52 movies available. 
not a lot if you compare it to other major airlines. I also found a blanket and a pair of slippers at my seat. Overall, it's a pretty decent seat which offers a lot of privacy and comfort. Shortly after, I was served a welcome drink, which until today I had no idea what it really was. Tasted a bit funny as well. However, I made myself comfortable, the safety video was shown, we were pushed back and I buckled up for a roughly 8 hour flight to New Caledonia. <laughs> Once we reached our cruising altitude, the cabin crew came past to hand out the menus. I was also given a hot towel and my table was set for the dining experience. I was very much looking forward to see what they dish up on today's flight. So we are half an hour into the flight and uh, I have a starter right in front of me, Japanese inspired and it even comes with a set of chopsticks and the whole presentation as such, it looks beautiful, very impressed. Also my crew member on my side, very kind, uh, very hardworking, um, it's really like talking me through the experience. This is what we want. And look at this, proper salt and pepper shakers. So this starter already looks really good and I ordered the fish for main. So um, after I saw this, very high expectations now for the main. Uh, let's stick in and let's see what it tastes like. So guys, main has arrived and though it looks simple, it also looks very delicious at the same time. The starter was amazing, really loved it. So I'm gonna dig in now and let you know what the fish tastes like. So high expectations now. So let's see if they're met. So this is the part I'm very much looking forward to, the fish, let's see. So overall, how do I rate it? I give it an eight out of 10. That was pretty delicious, great quality. The mushrooms, the spargus especially. Spargus was so fresh, so good. So was the fish. Uh, the potatoes were a bit, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, a bit off. I think that's the best word, but uh, other than that, sensational. Now we're gonna be on to the cheese and then I'm gonna have a coffee. Then I'm gonna give you a loo review and then I'm gonna show you what uh, the seed looks like when you go fully flat and uh, then I will just chill, enjoy, enjoy my life off camera and just have a good time by myself <laughs> without you guys. Awesome. Amazing. If it's getting too cold, just ask me, I will make you a new one. No, 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 it's perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, I have one sugar. That one. Thank you very much. So, and to round things up, some beautiful ice cream, quality, cookies and cream flavor, as well as a coffee. I know a few of you guys think of this as a weird combo. I love it. Uh, and also the crew member of my side, uh, his name Alex. So if somebody from Air Kalin is watching, he's doing a sensational job, very service oriented, following up, really trying hard to create a great experience for me this is what i love when people turn up for their jobs and put like passion into it and really try you know 
that is that is what I appreciate, and I think that should be recognized as well. So, Alex, thank you very much for being uh, amazing at your job. That's what uh, really enhances my experience here on this flight, and uh, it's always great to see when uh, crew is really delivering a quality service. Now it's time for ice cream and coffee. The ice cream experience was absolutely delicious and I then checked out the onboard Wi-Fi which AirClean offers as well. The prices were okay and as a business class traveler you get a free allowance as well. The internet was fast and very stable. I'm finally going to South America by the end of the year to feature some great aviation stories, including an amazing flight to Antarctica. So now I need to learn Spanish, and that's how I found today's sponsor, Lingoda. Lingoda is an online language school offering Spanish, English, German and French classes with experienced Lingo. teachers which yes. are available 24-7. But let me show you how yes. flexible they really are. You can filter by day and time and see what's available at your convenience. You can also search for individual one-on-one -on -one classes or learn in a small group with up to five students. But how much does it cost? A 60-minute group class with a native-speaking teacher costs as little as $10 or $20 for a private lesson. I find her teachers to be very professional and being able to learn from anywhere in the world. Whether I was somewhere in Iraq or waiting for my next flight in a business class lounge, I was able to improve my Spanish. But it was that moment when I was able to ask in Spanish for a window seat at the check-in counter when I knew that my Lingoda lessons paid off. So did I convince you to learn a new language as well? The good news is if you use the link in the description box below, you get a seven day free trial. And if you want to continue afterwards, you can use the code Josh25 to get a 25% discount on your first two months. Or you can use this QR code here if you happen to watch from your TV. So let's take advantage of this really great offer. So, and of course, the Lure review here on the 900 Neo um, looks good, still clean, no special amenities, no bad smell. And speaking of bad smell, uh, interestingly, this plane was sent back to Airbus right after, like a couple of weeks after it was delivered, because apparently it had a very foul uh, smell to it, and they couldn't identify it where it came from. They said it smells like stinky socks. <laughs> yeah. There were actually a lot of articles about it. They sent it back to Airbus and they couldn't find anything. I have not noticed any smell on this plane inside the cabin, so it's all good. <laughs> Probably fixed the problem. Um, maybe there was like a dead mouse or something in the air conditioning system. You never know, no? <laughs> Other than that, service was amazing. Quick. Um, as I mentioned, uh, Alex or the cabin crew did really a, like a remarkable job. Um, it was really really nice um yeah other than that we still have like six hours to go and uh yeah i'm gonna show you what the seat looks like when it's flat and then i'm gonna chill a little bit as mentioned before the seat goes completely flat and offers a lot of privacy too the bedding was also super super comfortable and i had a great sleeping experience but let's have a look at the amenity kit Air Kaline offers on this flight as well. It contained a little bag, travel socks, a tissue, moisturizer and lip balm, earplugs, headphone covers and a dental kit. Everything you need for an 8 hour flight over the Pacific Ocean. But then it was really time for me to go to sleep and get a little bit of rest. Good night. Two hours prior to arrival, I woke up and the crew handed me a hot towel. That's exactly what you need after a solid nap at 40,000 feet cruising altitude. I was offered a little Japanese snack platter, which was once again of great quality. Their catering out of Tokyo really impressed me. Once I was done, I thanked Alex for his great service and told him how much I appreciated his service. Being a cabin crew these days can be hard. A very hard job at times and they're dealing with a lot of nonsense passengers every day so take a moment to give them some feedback and recognition whenever you enjoyed their performance trust me they love to hear it
We then landed in New Caledonia. It isn't really a country and rather considered French overseas territory, but unlike Reunion, which I visited last year, it's very different. Your European SIM card won't work here and they seem to have a very strong identity themselves. To keep it short, I had no clue whether I was in Europe, Australia, France or New Caledonia. I'm sure some of you guys have a better explanation than I do, so please share it in the comment section below. So here we are, welcome to New Caledonia. My first time. One minute to clear immigration from the plane to the luggage belt in three minutes. <laughs> the, the benefits, the benefit of small airports, isn't it? <laughs> Hi, how are you? I have to go to the Gondwana City Green Hotel. What's the best way to get there? A taxi or...? Do you have any booking with taxis or no, I haven't. No, I haven't. don't have anything. Okay. Um, the best way you can take a shuttle, just you can check with them. You have um, availability. All right. Okay, just you can go outside okay. on your right, following the building, uh -huh. and at the end of this building, you can find a desk, a red and white color desk. All right, okay. And there's, there's, service. Okay, and there's like taxis and shuttles. No and... more taxis. No more taxis? Taxis. Uh, if you want a taxi, you're oh. booking. Oh, I have to book, okay, okay. All right, thank you, thank you. How do I get to the city? Is there Do you a, have the taxi or... The taxi? Can I be by car to a taxi or only cash? I think you need to take Yeah? You're right. Okay. That would be nice. Ah, he's booked already? Ah, he's already booked. Ah, right. Okay. So taxi or um, shuttle bus? Oh, shuttle bus? The shuttle bus is down there uh -huh. uh, or the counter. All right, so I have to go here, go on our city. Gondwana, oh, we have customers that go tonight to the Gondwana Hotel. Oh, really? And the, 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 oh, just go there and you have some. Okay, thank you very much. Hey. No so apparently it's hard to get a taxi, so I need to get a shuttle. But everybody seems to be rather nice. Why do I say this? Because I've been to Reunion. <laughs> French overseas territories can be difficult sometimes if you don't speak French, no? Bonsoir. Hello, how are you? Um, Do you have a booking? No, I don't. No booking. No booking. I have to go to City Green, Gondwana. City Green, Gondwana. Yeah. Thank you. Merci. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait. Yeah, yeah, I'll wait here outside. Merci. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, how are you? Just checking in. Can I have your passport? There we go. Thank you. We made it to the hotel. It took actually quite some time, 45 minutes from the airport to the city center. And here we are in my humble little home. There aren't too many uh, chain hotels here in Noumea. Um, but this one looks pretty nice. It's very centrally located and had and it really literally had the best reviews um, of all the hotels here in Noumea, New Caledonia. Um, how was my flight? It's always great to see 
that because I did my research on Air Kalin before the flight, I saw Noyles review, for example, and he had an absolute terrifying flight. And there was a lot of other reviews who said, if, you, if you're not a French speaker, you might not have a good flight on Air Kalin. And uh, there you go. Like sometimes it really depends on the crew. A review can be so different. It comes down to that one individual, to that one cabin crew member who in that very moment carries the entire brand. And that's what Alex did. He uh, did a remarkable job and uh, was very, very impressed. You know, and it comes down like you as a cabin crew member, if you watch, you can make, you can have such an impact on the brand. You can make it or break it as an experience. And he was all in. He's like, I had a great day over in Japan. I'm energetic. I'm grateful for that job that I have. So um, get to see the world. He get to travel and think like in those eight hours. I perform, I'm going to give it all I have, you know, and this was what I really could tell during the flight that he was in, he really like dived deep into his role as a cabin crew member and provided amazing service. And now here I am raving how great Air Kalin is. And uh, yeah, I would definitely fly them again. Also the hard product, uh, sensational. No complaints really, like really enjoyed it. This is when you come on board with very low expectations and then you get proven wrong, it's the greatest thing uh, that can happen in that, in that industry. Other than that, um, if you wanna support my work, uh, join my WhatsApp group, have early access to my videos, get your Cahill keyring, um, check out my Patreon page in the description box below and also let me know in the comment section below what you thought of today's flight. This is it, I'm gonna crash, I'm gonna sleep, and then tomorrow I'm gonna explore the city a little bit. And then on Monday, I'm off to Sydney on Qantas 737. So if you don't wanna miss out on this review, please subscribe right now. Guys, that's it, thanks for watching. Wherever you're off to, have a safe trip.